Hey guys, Coop here. Figured I'd let you guys know what I'm doing today. I decided I'm gonna put a uh, bigger table on my little uh, belt sander here. Give me a little bit more room to work. And I'm gonna use the, uh, oh, I think it's 12 inches long, quarter inch wide, and or four, to, four inches wide, quarter inch thick. And that'll give me a bigger work area to uh, work on. Anyway, guys, I just figured I'd bring you along with that. And uh, I'll get back with you here in a minute. Hey, guys, Coop here. Back with you. As you can see, I've got the little table on my belt sander all mounted. Everything sits nice and flush. Countersank my holes. And uh, went ahead and I didn't bring you guys along while I was building it. I figured, you know, if you guys really want to know how to, to convert your 1x30 with a bigger table, let me know. I'll make a quick video showing you how I did it. But uh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I just drilled holes, countersank them, put my bolts through them, and bolted them down. All right, now moving on. Now, first off, I'm going to tell every one of you guys straight up, this idea was not mine. This jig that I made was not my idea. Uh, there's a fellow YouTuber named Captain Jeff. I'll put the link to his channel down below. You guys go over and check him. He's a knife maker, really nice guy. He hasn't been on lately, but uh, he's got a pretty good channel and a lot of awesome ideas. So the credit for this table and the jig is all him. Okay, I just modified my jig a little bit different from the way he does. He has his with two holes right here, and he puts a plate across that his knife sets in. Well, I changed mine up a little bit. As you guys know from watching my other videos on my wooden jig for putting my edges on my knives, I had a, a slot cut out to hold my uh, guide, and I figured, well, why not do that here and it would save having to uh, have these holes drilled all the time so as you can see that slot there I just use my my little jig here I put it on my knife and it slides right down inside there and locks so this way all I have to do is just put a uh, clamp on one side and then when I go to remove it just take the clamp off turn it over spin it around and she's ready to go on the other side and this thing it would having that hole in there it keeps it nice and straight where nothing moves and it does the same on both sides every time all right guys just figured I'd give you this quick little update uh, reading the comments a while ago my buddy Brian I think it was my buddy Brian might have been Chuck I'm not sure but one of the two of them Want to know why I didn't zoom in on my knives on the last video? Well, here you go, guys. There you go. Good long look. There's one. There's two. There's three. These are just uh, rough cutouts, guys. I got a long ways to go on them. And, of course, there's number four. And, uh... You guys have any comments or questions, feel free to put them below, and I'll be happy to answer anything you post. Uh, don't forget, go over and check out Captain Jeff. The link for his video or his uh, channel will be down below. He's got some awesome information on uh, making knives, guys. So uh, I suggest everybody go over and check him out. And, oh, I appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching my videos. It means a lot to me. You guys all know that. Don't forget, we've got the face page, Facebook page going now. The link for that will be down below if you guys want to subscribe or hit the like button. Go ahead. If you don't, you just waste a couple minutes of your time. With that being said, my friends, old Coop's going to say, Coop out.